Okay then gang, so in this video we're going to create a modal pop-up so that when we click on this dude over here we get a pop-up and we eventually will have a form in that pop-up. So let's do that. First of all inside the HTML we're going to do this at the bottom down here and we need first of all a comment modal and then below that we need a div and the way we do this in Bulma is by giving this a class of modal. Now inside here we need the modal background so div.modal-background like so. Now this modal background is going to be the backdrop, the bit that's kind of fading out the web page so that there's more contrast between the modal and the background. In fact, I'll show you that in a second. What we'll do first of all is create the modal content. So another div with a class of modal hyphen content this time. Um, we're going to give this a white background. So has background hyphen white like so and then some padding in the y direction by five and also padding in the x direction by five as well so this is our modal content and all we'll do is an h3 with a class of title maybe give this some margin at the bottom as well of strength six and then we'll say join the club like so okay okay so if we come over here, we don't see this, right? Where is the modal? Well, by default, it doesn't show. And the modal only shows if this is, is active. So if it has this class, then it shows. And we can see this modal. So this kind of grayed out background, that is this modal background. If we take that off, then it's not going to appear. And we just see this, but it doesn't really stand out. So we need that modal background. And then obviously, this is the actual modal content that shows down here so that's pretty cool but now we need to create our own javascript to toggle the showing and the hiding of the modal and all we really need to do is toggle this class right here is active now by default we don't want to show it then when we click on this over here we want to give it that class so it shows then when it does show when we click on any of this modal background we want to take the class back off so the modal disappears again all right, so that's what we're going to do now in the JavaScript. So then let's first of all do a comment to say modal like so. And then I want to grab a hold of three things. I want to grab a hold of the sign up button or rather this button right here. Yeah, the sign up button. Then I want to grab a hold of the modal itself, the modal div. And I also want to grab this thing because when we click on that, we want to hide the modal. So I'm going to paste those in right here. We have the sign up button, which is grabbing this thing, this button. And in fact, I think we need to apply an ID to that. So let's go up here. Yep, we need an ID, which is equal to sign up. So that's the first thing here. It's grabbing the ID. The second thing is grabbing the modal background, and that's being stored in modal BG. So that is this thing right here. And then finally, we're grabbing the modal itself, which is the modal here. OK, so what do we want to do? Well, we want to attach an event listener to the sign up button, first of all. So we'll say sign up button dot add event listener like so. And we want to add a click event listener. Then we want to react to this by firing a function. And inside this function, all we need to do is take the modal and then get the class list and say we want to add a class. And that is is hyphen active. So once it has that class, it's going to show. So if I save this in preview, we should see sign up and we see the modal, but we can't close it. So we need to attach another event listener to the background. So let me come down here and say modal in bg dot add event listener and we want to again attach a click event and inside here we fire a function this time we take the modal and we get the class list and we remove a class instead and the class is is active like so so hopefully that will hide the modal save this and try this out sign up it's there click away it's gone awesome all works Dead simple to create a modal in Bulma.